iPod Mini was announced on January 6, 2004 and released the following February 20th, debuting the iconic click wheel, a full USB interface for both syncing and charging, a smaller form factor, and color the iPod for the first time. It is a truly iconic device and paved the way for the world as we know it today. However, how is it 19 years later? The iPod Mini was the first iPod to have the clip wheel that became a staple on all iPods until 2007, as previous iPods had scroll wheels with separate buttons. The iPod Mini was also the first iPod to support USB charging and syncing while the compete while the corresponding third generation iPod only support USB for for syncing but still required the far less common firewire for charging. Full USB support helped make the iPod Mini and the iPod as a whole appeal to the mass market. The iPod Mini was also the first iPod to come in colors being pink, gold, green, green, blue as shown here, silver as shown here. Colors remain disabled on iPods all the way until their discontinuation in 2022, and that would help pave the way for colorful iPhones. The iPod Mini also debuted a smaller form factor with a smaller hard drive to lower cost of the iPod Mini compared to the standard iPod to help it become the iconic product line it is today. On February 23rd, 2005, Apple announced the second generation iPod Mini, as I have here, which removed the unpopular gold finish, had brighter colors, a new a new 60 gigabyte capacity and cl had click wheel layering that matched the iPod's color. As until my first gen mini right here, the click wheel lettering is just silver, but here it matches the color, even though this is still silver. On September on September 7, 2005, Apple discontinued the iPod Mini and replaced it with the Flash-based iPod Nano due to flash storage prices decreasing and be bar more viable for consumer tech products. Taking a look around the iPod Mini is pretty standard fare, excluding the remote connector next to the headphone jack that could be used for external accessories such as radio remotes, apparently. Though this was a staple on iPods, though I still find it a little weird, so that's why I like, like to want to point that out. The iPod Mini software is still very impressive, especially the Astros tab, and another cool thing about the iPod Mini was that they had a lot of accessories to go along with them, such as docks and clips. like I have here. And so my first gen iPod mini, I charged it last night, but the battery on it died. So as you can tell, it just won't, so it won't do anything, but this iPod, but my iPod mini second gen is working. So I can show that the UI on that because both of them have the same UI. So right here, here's the music tab with, which is just pretty standard. This is all music from the previous owner. You also have a pod. You could also listen to podcasts on this thing, which I don't know if was a feature with the original iPod or not. There was also the extras tab, which is really cool because you could set a world clock, even though that's now inaccurate. Contacts, you could sync up your contacts. This is just a sample. And there are even some instructions to how you could sync your, I don't know how you could sync contacts to your iPod. There was also a calendar where you could even sync it up with your calendars to make this really like a PDA of some sort, which was pretty like a 90s PDA. There was also a notes tab, which again could sync them from the computer. So I'm back here again with both iPods actually powered on working. So right here, so now right here we have the game section, which is the most fun. And the, the most popular game on the iPod was probably Brick, which is basically just Atari Breakout, but for iPods, it's pretty fun. It's a shame that Apple doesn't make this for iPhones. I'm sure they're now. And another popular, there was also a music quiz and a solitaire app game, which was pretty little, which were pretty bad. But there was also. Parachute, which is a really fun one. It's basically when you try to get. I don't. Th I think this is original to the iPod, but. But basically, you just try to shoot down planes. 
It's a really fun game to play, and it's available even on the first iPod, which just goes to show you how iPods could be used as PDAs. All right, so let's just get out of there. And now, what do, legacy did the iPod Mini leave despite its short lifespan? The iPod, not only did the iPod Mini help uh, the iPod take off and shape society, but it also led to Apple's colorful products today as Apple discontinued colorful pro products in 2002 previously, such as the iMac G3. Both generations of the iPod Mini are still cheap today for collectors retailing for around $30 secondhand or for $90. Assuming gold, those are more lavish. Prefer to elite obsolete, so they're viable collector's items, and I highly recommend picking one up. So, as always, did any of you have an iPod Mini back in the day? Please comment that down below. As always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes fanboy, and peace out.